Kelly here. So I'm here at my local grocery store, Organic Garage, and I'm gonna show you in this video today how to grocery shop like a nutritionist. So I am one of those total odd birds that love grocery shopping. So I've jam packed this video with my best tips to make your grocery shopping experience as healthy and as joyous as possible. So my first tip for you guys on how to shop like a nutritionist is a list. Make sure you bring your list to the grocery store. But before you even get to the grocery store, you know what I do? I have a pad of paper and a pen always on my kitchen counter and throughout the week I'm writing down things that I need so I don't forget when I get to the grocery store. The other thing is I always shop based on the meals I'm preparing for the week. So I know in my mind, okay, I know I need lemons, I know I need leafy greens, but what do I need it for? So I'm shopping with my actual main meals in mind as well. So my next tip for you guys is to shop with enough time so that you can read labels. I suggest about 30 minutes. Um, obviously, if you're shopping only for Whole Foods, you don't have to worry about reading labels, but if you are buying any packaged foods and you're not familiar with the products, you wanna make sure that you do have time to read all of the ingredients. My next point is to limit plastic as much as you can. So I have this cute little reusable produce bag that is great for things like uh, leafy greens, fresh herbs. And while we're shopping for these things, I do recommend as much as you can and when budget allows is to purchase organic. When you purchase organic, you're really limiting your exposure to pesticides and also genetically modified organisms, which are both not allowed in organic farming. And it's better for the environment too. Not only is it better for us, but it's also better for our planet to be supporting farmers who don't spray tons and tons of chemical, synthetic chemicals. My next point, which is a great one to follow about shopping organic, is to shop in bulk, because this makes organic more affordable. For example, I'm gonna buy some certified organic green lentils, and if I bought these in a package, the package can be you know, up to 20% of the cost. So it's a lot cheaper to buy things in bulk. So I buy things like rice, beans, dates, um, quinoa, all these types of things I typically always buy in bulk because it is a lot cheaper. Now kitchen staple for me is I always have a variety of nuts and seeds stocked in my kitchen for recipes and really quick snacks. This is an absolute staple. And you can learn about even more kitchen staples and how to totally make over your kitchen in the Joyce Kitchen Challenge which I'm gonna talk about at the end of the video. My next point is that the bulk of what you put in your grocery cart should actually not ha even have a package, not even have a nutrition label because it's a one ingredient food. This is the largest majority of what I buy. Doesn't have a nutrition label, doesn't have an ingredient label because it's just a whole food. So my next point, when you are buying foods that have more than one ingredient, is to watch out for food additives, excess sugar, and excess salt. So even, or I would say just as important as the nutrition label, is actually reading what the food is actually made of. As a general rule, I stick to foods that have ingredients that I know what they all are. Um, and anything that has a word that I can't pronounce or I know it's not a good additive, I just put it back on the shelf. But this is a brand that we love at home. My husband loves it, I love it, so it's going in my grocery cart. So my next point uh, is to shop the perimeter of the grocery store because that's where the healthiest foods always are. But, a little asterisk for that, where I'm shopping, actually even down all the aisles, there's super healthy food. But a regular big box grocery store, generally speaking, the healthier foods are around the outside. So the large majority of my grocery cart is usually, I stock it with fresh or frozen foods, but there are some things that I do buy in a can or a jar. But just be careful when you buy things like tomatoes, for example, you wanna make sure that there's not a whole bunch of sodium in there. This is often one that is full of sodium, but this one here, this is a glass jar of crushed organic tomatoes. 
and there's actually zero milligrams of sodium. That's awesome. So then you're in control of how much salt you put in your food. My next point is to avoid foods and drinks that are fortified with nutrients. Because I always feel like when you see on a label fortified with this and that, it's usually because the food is something to hide. It should have these nutrients naturally occurring. Um, an example of this that you see all the time are nut milks and you see different orange juices fortified with vitamin D. It's fortified with a synthetic vitamin D that I actually suggest you avoid. And my final point, and I know I already kind of touched on this, but don't shop when you're in a major rush. Because then you're going to end up spending too much money, grabbing things that you might not even need, you won't have time to read labels, and sometimes you buy more junk foods too. So, on that final note, don't shop when you're hungry because then you'll be shopping with your stomach instead of your brain. So have your grocery shop list with you and have fun. So I hope that helps you guys. If you want even more guidance and inspiration, you have to join the Joyous Health Kitchen Challenge. So in this seven day challenge that's totally free, you're gonna learn how to completely make over your kitchen. You're gonna get totally organized. You're gonna feel like it's a fresh new start. You're going to feel amazing and in charge of your kitchen. So I hope you join me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to notifications when I have a new video. Subscribe to my channel and comment below. And join the Joyous Health Kitchen Challenge. Bye.